It all started out with a plant, a variety of European bellflower used in the making of salads. The plant is called Rampion. This plant grew in a beautiful garden belonging to a mean witch whom everybody feared. Unfortunately, the Rampion could be seen from a little hut belonging to a peasant and his wife. Every day, the wife, who was to have a baby, she'd sit by the window and gaze at the Rampion. Darling, I know this sounds fantastic and utterly absurd, but I have this uncontrollable desire to have a salad made from that European bellflower. You know, Rampion. You mean those weeds there? Rampion, dear. And I fear I must have some or I shall surely die. All right, dear. If it's Rampion you want, Rampion you shall have. And so the husband sneaked to the garden wall, peered over the top, and leaped into the garden of the witch. Rampion, Shmampion. It still looks like weeds to me. Whoops! Halt! You cannot move! You know you're right. You have come into my garden like a thief. Alas, be merciful. I'm only here because my wife sees your rampion. I think I'll turn you into a toad. And uh, has such a longing for it that she would die if she could get no rampion. If that's true, you can take away as much rampion as you like. But on one condition, you must give me the child which your wife is about to bring into the world. In his fear, the husband consented to everything, and when the baby was born, the witch appeared, gave it the name Rapunzel, which is short for Rampion, and took the little infant away with her. <laughs> Rapunzel grew into a beautiful child. She played in the woods and was very careful of her long hair, which she would comb day after day. When she was 12 years old, the witch shut her up in a tower. It had neither staircase or door, only a small window. Matter of fact, there was only one way to climb up the tower. Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. That I may climb the golden stair. And that was the way. Well, a couple of years later, the king's son was walking in the forest and he chanced to hear a song so lovely that he stopped to listen. Do, 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 do. The lovely voice came from Rapunzel's tower. <clears throat> Rapunzel, Rapunzel, let down your hair. Ooh, that I may climb the golden stair. Wow! Rapunzel, I have searched far and wide, but never has my heart been so touched by song or beauty such as yours. I like you too. Will you be my wife and live with me in my kingdom? Yes, I will gladly go with you because actually there doesn't seem to be any future here. I mean, Rapunzel, let down your hair, let up your hair. It gives me a headache, I'll tell you. Then it's settled. We'll be married right away. Just let down your hair and we'll be off. Aren't you forgetting something? No. What? Me. If I let down my hair, how am I to get down? Oh, that's right. Well, I think you'd better go now. The witch will soon return. Oh, don't worry, Rapunzel. I'll, I'll think of something. Whoops! Oh, you've come to fetch your lady love. Well, you goofed. You'll never see her again. <laughs> Meanwhile, back at the tower... Oh, you wicked child! I thought I'd separated you from the world, yet you deceived me just for that! Well, now you've done it. We're both stuck here now. Aren't you forgetting? And so poor Rapunzel was left to live in the tower all alone and in great poverty. The poor prince wandered about in the forest for two years. Then, one day... <laughs> it's... it's hair. Yes, hair it was, for in the two years Rapunzel's tresses had grown to their full length again. Rapunzel, I told you I'd think of something, and I have. Only I can't see. Why don't you take off your hat? I can see. And now I'll climb down your hair, and when I get to the bottom, I'll explain my plan. What's your plan? Jump! Jump! That's your plan? Yes! Some plan! 
After three days in the barber shop, Rapunzel and the prince were married and lived happily ever afterward. That is, until one day... Darling, I know this sounds fantastic and utterly absurd, but I have this uncontrollable desire to have a salad made from that variety of European bellflower. A rampion? Yes, dear, a rampion. Well, here we go again. 